I'm ZerTapTap, and welcome to Let's Play Bellular Hexatosis. Um, this is a game, well, let me just it says fly to the, fly to the eyeball city, collect rare tears, and find a cure for your dying sister. Pretty much a standard Tuesday night for me. Get well soon, sis. I just, my tongue, like three times, I don't know what. Bedroom, utility. Let's check out our utility. Oh. Is this supposed to be a VR game? I know teleporting is a big thing in VR. This is a, this is a free game on itch.io. Link in the description, as always. Ah, uh, Sister's Health. Bellular Hexatosis. Immediate antidote fusion. How's my health doing? Oh no! That's... That is quite possibly more concerning, actually. I like the shaders on this jar and this the the lighting the like the the the, the yeah it's very interesting. <laughs> That's one thing I missed from like early point and click like kids edutainment games would have like just stupid crap you could just click and stuff would happen. What are you doing, Parky? Chill. What is this plug for? Hello, sister. Oh, hey, sis! How are you, sis? Oh, no, not, not the gyre. Not a fading sensation. They're weirdos. Not as weird as me, colon P. Yeah! Less than three. Regular sisterly interaction. I'm surprised this game so accurately portrays my actual sister. Like... I didn't even realize they knew her, but there she is. All right, so she 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 collects gears. Uh, she's very sensitive about it. Don't don't think too much of it. Parker, I'm making videos. Calm down. Yes. Hi. What does this do? Can we can we go get our antidote? Um. Clouds. Totally. The biocom gurgles and the voice of your sister drips through. Parker, chill. Do I have to crinkles? Do I have to crinkle at you? Where, where did the tinfoil go? What did I do with the tinfoil, Parker? I needed to dissuade you from being annoying. Not like that's possible, but still. Oh, crap, my Parker defense mechanisms have failed. Oh well. The voice of my sister, I think it picked up the sickness from the bottom of the sea. Parky! Don't no, that is very bad. We do not play with cords in this household. No, honey, please. Let's go deep enough, it's hard to tell the difference. Um let's go for a colon circle. It'll be okay. I have no idea how long this game is. It's just woo! It just looked like a cool, weird game. Sell the islands hundreds of turns ago. Fleeing. Seems like a reasonable thing to do. Woo! This presentation is actually really cool. Can I gather some of that? Pure blind prophet spoke. The pink eyed, the gouge, the macular degenerate, all gathered for it to be healed. Some kind of weird junk around your eyes. It's me. It's carrying around your eyes. Like a palanquin. You must be dignitary respected. I'm not a person! Yeah, I'm not a person, bro. Is that, is that bad? My sister's sick. Okay. Um, here's my drawing of a dog called Little Brother. There once two eyes. They were heterochrome, green and brown. And they were concocted, connected by a single tear duct. One night, Green Eye had a nightmare. And such was the force of this nightmare that she cried and cried and cried. But she ran out of tears. She barred from the other eye's tears. And she cried and cried and cried. But the tears were not enough to drain the nightmares from her iris. She kept crying until the tears ran clear. 
She woke up, blinking herself. She turned to the other eye. I've had such a horrible dream, she said. The other eye stared back at her. Eye was clear, drained of color. It was only a nightmare, the other nightmare, I said. They entangled their lashes. So sad. Semicolon, lots of underscores, semicolon. Can I collect the tears? Get 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 the tears, game. Am I am I get am I getting them? Is this do I do something? Oh do I click oh Okay, you just click the dialogue. Okay. Simple enough. Simple enough. Let's give some tears to One Chan. Oh, I got you the treasure of the zone. Health friend is tracking down the antidote equation. Oh, sleep tight, kilobyte. What you got for me, Mr. Brains? Sister's health. No actual change. Hello, Mr. Heater. I can't activate Mr. Heater from this direction. Oh, I have to leave. Whatever. Do I get more locations? Okay, just two destinations for now. Keep sinking and sleeping with the current. I can't tell you where you're back. It has a... I'm not looking for the antidote. Sorry, Anei-chan. We'll doki doki together soon. Waves like Bithymus, Kor Colossi, Isles of Shadow, and Sea of Angel Blood. I hope we can see them again together. Those are my favorite sights to see. Scanner show trace amounts of silken necrosis in the water. I, I want to poke around the world more, but this is oddly satisfactory. Like, I usually want to really poke around weird worlds, but... It, this weird fixed perspective thing just kind of works. Say the water gained the color from the soda factories on the floor of the sea. Yeah, that's, that's where we build soda factories. The drowned tangled in the roots. We're going the drowned tangled roots way. Shapes close to the floor, unspeakably... Unspeakably authentic! Yeah, that's my personal brand. Uh, unspeakably authentic. The Necrocoral is becoming endangered. Conclave found. Increasing deaths on the reef. Oh. They would like you to volunteer. <laughs> Parky. Parky. Okay, can you sit? I can't read the text, honey. Please. Did I just... Did I just kill myself? Um. Everything. Absolutely everything. You are standing in a beautiful house with incredibly clean windows. Like a commercial for glass cleaner. Though these windows your neighbors can see your everything. I am one of your neighbors. I am wearing a bright dress. You stare at me, I grow closer and closer. Uh, until I am standing next to you. Sorry, Parker jumped up. My dress is bright in the sun. My dress is cooking the eggs in your refrigerator before lifting my skirt. You uh, wear sunglasses. Grinton's pretty. Eh, it's boring. Rub blue. Uh, set up an elaborate series of <laughs> mirrors to reflect this killing light. The instant you reflect, lift my skirt. This is this is how I sexed. By the way. Um, the sky is snuffed out like a candle. My dress is the only visible light. My body is gone. Oh man, are you guys are you guys as horny right now as I am? You run through the halls. My dress floats after you like a ghost after a jellyfish. Oh, by the way, um, while searching for this game, I got reminded of the existence of a site called Warp Door. Um, Parky. They basically do what I do, but way more streamlined. They just post weird games every day. They don't, you know, have too much content on them, but just a weird game every day. Warp Door. I believe it's just warpdoor.com. Yeah, just Google Warp Door, and I'm pretty sure it'll be the first thing. Parky, please. You go to separate rooms connected by a glowing thread attached to our swollen abdomens. I sleep in the space where your body was. I cannot tell myself from you and your goals. You cast spells to board away the sprinkler water. <laughs> Very effective use of spells. You carry out these commands that the machine given to the woman in the household. Such commodity. Are you stretching? Are you... Your body is stretching a little bit. This machine links them to each other. Parker, please. Parker. Honey, not now. What did you do? Suck my dick. What? <laughs> Parker. 
Parker, I'm trying to play a game about sucking dicks. Please sit. Okay, okay. Th there, just sit there. <laughs> oh my god, what is this game? You have modified your machine to allow illegal and unusual actions which are reciprocated on your own body. Suck my dick, finger my asshole, or caress my boobs. Uh, what, what, what is your, what, what's the, Parker, don't bump the mic, please. What's your weapon of choice, Parker? I'm, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go. <clears throat> I don't think this is going to be actually explicit. I'll I'll edit if it isn't. So I mean, you don't have to stop watching. But we're we're gonna suck our own dick, okay? Every night I starve to death in your living room. The mood is Parker. <laughs> Calm down. The mood is sexual. Ah! What an amazing orgasm! Thank you for the orgasm. That was perfect quantity. <laughs> Orgasm. 10 grams flawless aromatic and pure this this is the greatest sex I've ever had I'm so glad I played this I have a small token of my esteem a gift for your sister's wound thank you 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 did not know foreplay until you do it with light of the sun Parker what did you do god damn it Parker Honey, please, just sit over there. Hello, sister. I just did unspeakable things, and there were dead people. I may have sucked one of my own appendages. It's not important. You're worth a million oceans. She is silent for a moment. The health machine was beeping while you were gone. I think it found something. Let's go to the health machine. <laughs> I had no idea this would... This is like, oh, probe. We got a probe on HN. Antidote formula detected inside you. Link mine to endoscopic microself. Okay. Self lubrication. Uh, am I going to suck my own dick again? Is that. Uh, somehow, the solution always happens to be this. What does this place need? Probiotic minibar or acidophilus hot tub? We're going to go. We're going to go for the hot tub. I get lonely, though. There's choices. I have too much agency. There, I don't. I don't know whether I want to go to the velar lenticulus, lentilis, the bellum fista, or the ventilia orega. That sounds kind of like Ortega. So we're gonna go for there. That. Wait. Can I? Can I? Can I go back? Interesting. Now we're gonna go for this Ortega stuff. I, I see this. I see that. I want to. I want to see. Oh God. I don't think that's supposed to be in here. I think that's supposed to be anywhere but inside my own brain. I think that's pretty much where I would like that particular thing to be, to be quite honest. Hectoloviscule. This is really, this is weird in all of the right ways. I, lo I kind of love this. Baramask, wait, did I go backwards? Gyrometric coil. I'm a little confused in this. I think I think this is a dead end. Oh man, which makes me wish I had visited the the soda factories cuz maybe maybe there's only one solution. I already went to Ortega, so It's so confusing that there's like so few options, but I'm still lost. Wait, 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 wait. I don't think we saw this before. Oh, god damn it. The one thing I didn't see. Hello. I can tell you something I already knew. I was there when you forgot. Ah! Don't, don't put that... there. The incident shrunk everything to the size of a pinprick. You have to see your mind back through again. There wasn't much room for esoteric equations. Learning to walk, to talk. To sense. If I disgorge the memory of the antidote, it will come with things you don't want. It's totally worth it, bro. My sister was only half a tower tall. I was in a minimum forceful state. I was alone, waiting for her heart to develop. The rest of her was done. Even the brain. But it was important to wait. One rainy night, I was awoken by a moaning sound. It was me sucking my own... <laughs> I'm sorry. I wandered outside and saw the vast dark shape of her. For seconds, 
I was too sleepy to recognize her. She was a mountain from the Stadrid Genes back home. A cyclone frozen in celestial amber. Anything but a sister. The chrysalis had ruptured prematurely. She was writhing in a mess. She sounded like she was choking. I remember swimming around trying to drag away the weapon. Rappling up the side of the chrysalis. Straight cable of silk trying to reach her. The wind whipped up back and forth and my hands were bleeding. I tried to hold on for so long, but the silk was so slippery I fell back into the water. And she was over me, rising from the wreckage. She was heart-stunted, brain-huge, a spire of inexorable flesh leaking mercy. By morning, the sea was calm and her heart was growing, but I was drifting, broken. She didn't know, and I never told her. Three months later, I erased the memory. Now my shattered body sleeps in the hollow core below the base, piloting the automation she calls sister. Aut automaton. Not a big difference, honestly, but yeah. Her not knowing meant I held the memory privately and could suffer with it at a length that would not have existed if we shared it. Like the best resentments, it was a secret. An infection that gave off no rotten smell or telltale pus. She didn't know what she was doing. She wasn't the same person. She only looks the same. She doesn't know what she'd given her. I can't tell her, and I hate her for it. Talked about it before, we could have fixed it. But now it's this hard thing that grew inside me for so long that it no longer has any natural orifices to emerge through. A swallowed irritation that outgrows the past is infiltrated. Hmm? Well. I'm sorry, Onei-chan. I've doki dokied for the last time. Gratitude emanates from her body, washing over you like wind on a shell, penetrating only as hollow, distorted echo of itself. You wonder if it'll always be this way, always feeling things secondhand. Is that it? Up. Oh. That's us, I guess. It's a little robot with a brain in a tube. Just like real life. Bellular Hexatosis. Writing designed by Porpentine. Music designed by that other thing. I couldn't read that in time. So yeah, that was that was pretty great. Whew. I need to lie down and let some of my brain fluids leak out of my ear for a while. I'll be right back. <laughs> 